Uncut, Uncensored Truth, right here on ISBC Truth Channel. Right here on ISBC Truth Channel. With your host, Pastor Michael Smith, and co-host... Sister Smith, baby. Sister Smith, baby. And if you are new to this channel, you just stumbled across this channel, this is your first time here, stay a while. All you have to do is simply hit that subscribe button. Next to that subscribe button, it's a bell. Hit that bell so you'll be notified when we drop this breaking news on you. Next to that, there is a like button. Hit that like button so we can stay lit. Hit that like button so we can stay lit. And don't forget, you can also sign up to become an exclusive VIP member. You get free t-shirts, free coffee mugs, and much, much more. Simply hit that blue join button right there next to the subscribe button and sign up today. All right, so looks like Mike Epps, people, is going to find somebody to get rid of. Now, the reason why I say get rid of, because some things I can't say over here on YouTube, so just read between the lines. It looked like Michael Epps, in his all in his whole career, has to be paid for now. You know what I'm saying? He done enjoyed his success. Now it's time for him to pay for all of the success that he done had. You know what I'm saying? And uh, the same way uh, Snoop Dogg, from 1993 up until 2022, Snoop Dogg had to pay for all of that success he done had. And how did he pay for that success? With his mama. Snoop Dogg's mama died in 20, well, before 2022. And he predicted it. If you listen to the Murder Was the Case song back in 1993, he said, I brought my mama a Benz, and then I bought my boo-boo a Jag, and I'm a ride in a real dog, ill dog rag. And she probably won't make it. Who probably won't make it? To see 22. To see what 22? The year 2022? He said he's going to put that on his, you know what? You see what I'm saying? So, Snoop Dogg in 1993 already rapped about killing his mama before his mama died. In 2020, before 2022. It's the same way with Michael Epps. He got caught with a what? Everybody knows that when you get arrested, or you're a celebrity, and you get so-called arrested, and it having to do with a pistol, it means you have to go to the table of sacrifice. So, now, with all that being said, let's go ahead to the report for Sister Smith. Famous comedian Mike Epps found with loaded gun at airport. Famous comedian Mike Epps is under investigation after officials at Indianapolis International Airport reportedly found a loaded gun in his bag Sunday. A legal document indicated security personnel discovered the loaded gun when Epps went through the checkpoint and probably called uh, for assistance. Epps was questioned about the weapon and indicated it was an innocent mistake and oversight on his part. The famous comedian said he was in town for a show and completely forgot the gun was in his bag. According to TMZ. Sister Smith. Yes. When you're traveling, right? Uh-huh. You're packing your bag. Uh -huh. Do you know what you got in your bag? Yes. You know what you're putting in your bag. Yes. You know what I'm saying? I do. How can you miss a piece of steel like a handgun? I don't think I would. I know you, it's hard. How are you going to? Exactly. It's hard. You know what I'm saying? You got your, okay, you got your suitcase. You got clothes in a suitcase. Mm -hmm. And the only other hard thing you may have in your suitcase is your, your shaving cream bottle. You know what I'm saying? Your deodorant bottle. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Toothpaste. You know. Um, 
and basically the uh, basically in the pistol. How can you miss that? Right. You can't miss that. That's not an honest mistake. You knew that that was there. Either you knew that that was there, or you didn't pack it in your luggage. Somebody else packed it in your luggage to purposely get you jammed up so that you can come to the Valley of Decision and you can get that knock at your door for a sacrifice. Because I know if I'm packing my suitcase, I know what's in there. Mm -hmm. And I know if I'm going to put something like a pistol in my suitcase. You can't, make, you can't get that mixed up. I don't care how much weed you smoke. You cannot get that mixed up. Because you cannot get something mixed up that you know if you get caught with it, it's a possibility that you can wind up in jail. Go ahead. According to TMZ, charges have not been filed at this time, but the investigation remains ongoing. Uh, the police, the gun police recovered was a 38 special. Ooh. Ooh. So somebody put a 38 special inside of Michael Epps' luggage. People, look at the movie poster in 19, I think it's 1980. I think it's 1980, the 1980s is a movie called Murder by Numbers. And I think, uh, I think Sandra Bullock played in it. Murder by Numbers. If you look at the movie poster, there's only two letters that have been changed. The B had been changed to an 8 and the E had been changed to a 3. 83. In reverse, that's 38. 38 is the magical number of Death by numbers. The magical number. When you see that, when you see that, just know that somebody is going to be flatlined. Mike Epps, whoever's around Mike Epps, whatever, whoever, you know what I'm saying, Mike Epps is charading with gifts. And Mike Epps telling them he love. Better watch out because somebody's going to be flatlined. Go ahead. L. Wright Revolver um, uh, with four rounds loaded. But no. Uh, what what did you, you see? It got Pacific. So it's a 38 reversed as 83. 38 is multiplied by numbers. And then you got four rounds. Four represents D-E-A-T-H. Yes. That's the number four. So yeah. Mike Epps is really going to get somebody. He's on a mission right now. Go ahead. That's why ain't no charge been filed. Because Mike Epps said, yes, I'll do it. Yes, I'll do it. My light-skinned butt will do it. Go ahead. But none in the chamber. According to TMZ, revolvers do not have a single chamber, but rather a cylinder with multiple chambers, each is uh, each of which holds one round. The Smith and West Weston 642 airway holds five shots. Uh, TMZ may have meant the empty chambers was uh, positioned to the right of the hammer so that pulling the trigger once would have, will not have discharged the weapon. The outlet may also have meant that the hammer was resting on the empty chamber and unnecessary precaution carrying over from the days 
of single action revolvers, which have fewer safety features, in which case pulling the trigger will have fired the gun. The, the firearm and ammunition have since been taken into police custody where they remain as evidence. The police report has been forwarded to Marion County Prosecutor's Office to determine if Epps will face any criminal charges surrounding the incident. TMZ reported. Uh, face it. any criminal charges. It will be determined on whether he pulls off the flatlining of one of his relatives or he don't. If he pulls off the flatlining, then those charges will be dismissed. Like Young Jeezy's charges was dismissed. But if he don't, then those charges are going to come up and he's going to be facing some charges. Go ahead. That's it. All right. Thank you for that, Sister Smith. I want to thank you all for tuning in, logging on to another edition of ISBC Truth Channel, right here on ISBC Truth, with your host, Pastor Michael Smith, and co-host, Sister Smith Baby. Sister Smith Baby. And if you are new to this channel, you just stumble across this channel, if this is your first time here, stay a while, all you have to do is simply hit that subscribe button. Next to that subscribe button, it is a bell. Hit that bell so you can be notified when we drop this breaking news on you. Next to that, there is a like button. Hit that like button so we can stay lit. Hit that like button so we can stay lit. And don't forget, if you want to subscribe, if you want to become an exclusive VIP member of this channel, get a free t-shirt, free coffee mugs, and much, much more, simply hit that blue join button at the, by that subscribe button. Hit that blue join button and sign up today. Till next time, God bless you all. Yeah.